so we're back. Uh, I'm sorry it's taken me about two, three weeks to get back to this. Um, I've had like a bunch of weddings. It's crazy. Uh, I was part of one. Um, I did the ceremony. Yes, I am a minister. Believe it or not, I'm a minister. Uh, so I performed the ceremony. So um, I've been really, really busy. Uh, I apologize for not getting back to this sooner. It is something that I want to do on a weekly basis at least. Um, I, I want to start off with us uh, uh, doing some uh, mail, some feedback that we've gotten. Uh, the first one we've gotten, we got back, was from a uh, gentleman named Anthony DeSanto from Meriden, Connecticut. Uh, he wrote me and said, "Quote: You are pathetic." Unquote. Uh, I don't know why he thinks I'm pathetic. Um, it goes back to that whole, uh, you know, conservative uh, Republican type mentality. Uh, in my 38 years, I've met two people. Uh, one is Ninja R. Um, uh, he's a former Marine, and uh, he he's one of the very few people that will engage in a debate, whether or not uh, you know I, I I end up agreeing with him or if he agrees with me at the end. It doesn't really matter. The point is that he he has the ability to put his ideas down, and you know instead of saying you know general things like most conservatives that I I've seen you know. Uh, they just say things like, you are pathetic. So, uh, Mr. DeSanto, uh, we thank you for your input. Um, it's always uh, appreciated uh, when we can have a nice uh, intellectual debate with someone from here in the Connecticut uh, area. Um, we also uh, got some interesting feedback from a gentleman who won't identify himself, of course, because that's another tactic they use. Uh, I'm out there. Uh, my name is Matthew John. Uh, I don't care if you like what I say or not. Um, I'm all about, if you can change my mind, more power to you. But uh, there's this gentleman, um, con con Connecticut, CT Conservative 2010. Um he had posted, his original comment was, once again, much like uh, conservatives do, uh, he would just ask the basic question, are you brain damaged? Uh, then he kind of got into a debate after, uh, with me and a, another gentleman uh, on, on the actual YouTube video. Um, but the fact is, you know, he doesn't realize or... Maybe he's older, because sometimes older people don't know how the internet works. Um... You, you get an email when someone makes a comment and if it's removed. Uh, he removed his comment about the, being, uh, the brain damage. Um, what he tried to do was flip it around and say that I deleted it. I never deleted it. I have the email uh, saying that it was removed. Uh, I, I don't know why he thought he could get away with this lie. But then again, he's really supporting Linda McMahon, so we've kind of come to expect that from her, and why not him? Now, I know I was said I was going to discuss uh, Mitt, Ryan, uh, Mitt Romney, uh, Paul Ryan, um, but I think we're still going to get to uh, Linda because there have been some developments. Um, oh, oh, by the way, his, his last comment was, uh, I didn't remove anything when you claimed I removed it. I stated you guys removed it. <laughs> uh, why would I remove it and yet keep saying it? He never said it again. I kept saying it. In fact, I think you must be brain damaged. Maybe your mom dropped you on your head a few too many times as a child. Are you incapable of putting together factual statements, or do you find it more fun to lie? So, that was his comment, uh, one of his many, many comments. The guy needs to go outside. Uh, on the YouTube video. So, these are the things. Let's. It is a fact that the WWE, which is wholly owned by the McMahon, or majority owned by the McMahon family, uh, inducted a convicted rapist and sex offender, Nevada sex offender, offenders list, look at it, uh, into the Hall of Fame. No matter what, which way you slice it, that is rewarding a convicted rapist. That is condoning rape, all right? Uh, Linda McMahon could have stopped that, whether or not she was CEO or not. What Linda McMahon is trying to do is say that she has no control over the company because she's no longer CEO. That is a lie. 
All right? Her and her family are the majority uh, owners of the company. You, you, you can't dispute that. People talk about her health insurance. If you go to their own website, it says that they don't provide uh, health insurance to all their employees. It, it's right there on their the WWE's own website, unless, of course, they remove it, which we'll get to how they like to remove things in one second. Uh, we talked about uh, Michael P.S. Hayes. Uh, he's, he's a racist. There's no way around it. Um, he uses the N-word uh, at work. He's a part of their senior management team. Um, I believe he's a head booker for SmackDown. Maybe Raw. I, I don't know. Um, but he was suspended. In any other multi-million dollar company, uh, if a member of management uh, was using the term uh, nigger around uh, black employees, they wouldn't have a job, but not at the WWE. Uh, and, and this, once again, falls directly into, you know, the McMahon family. It's a direct reflection on them. So that wasn't a lie. Uh, I can't really, without having watched the video, I don't remember exactly what I went into. But the fact is, they did lay people off in 2009, and I did say that they did. Uh, they have recently come to an agreement uh, with... Uh, the World Wildlife Foundation, uh, so they really didn't need people to uh, remove the logos anymore like they did. But I understand that they're uh, doing them for another reason anyway. I don't really care. The fact is that he says saying that they laid people off is a lie. It's not they laid people off. That's a fact. Um, get over it. <laughs> don't tell me what a great job creator you are, but leave out the fact that, well, yes, we did have to lay people off. You know, that, that makes you full of shit. So here we are at the next video, and quite a few things have happened. Linda McMahon has repeatedly pushed this issue. Uh, Chris Murphy uh, didn't pay, uh, missed a few rent payments and uh, mortgage payments, like 10 years ago, whatever. So, it's fine. I mean, being poor, when I was hurt in 2003, I moved, uh, I missed several um, uh, rent payments, and, and I was sued. Um, it's not, when, they, when you say sued, it's not the same thing. When you go to court, it's arbitration. I, I do wish that Chris would explain this a little bit better. Um, unfortunately, you know, you look at my situation, I was in a convalescent home for six months in a hospital for over a month, uh, and I lost everything, which is fine. I mean, it's fine. Um, I ended up paying the rent back, uh, once I was out of the hospital, um, which Chris did. And then we have the foreclosure, and Chris paid, uh, did the same thing, went into some type of arbitration, uh, and he paid it all back. Now, we have to remember that Linda McMahon declared bankruptcy, never paid any of her creditors, even though she's making 24 to $30 million a year these days. She still chose, has chosen not to pay back her creditors. Uh, Chris Murphy did pay uh, the debts that he owed. Um, and then they're trying, of course, Linda McMahon's lying by trying to give you the impression that he got some type of sweetheart deal. Uh, several newspapers and news outlets have come out and said it wasn't a sweetheart deal. It was right along uh, the regular uh, interest rates at the time. Uh, even the senior vice president of Webster Bank has come out and said it was right in line with all other banks. So we have her using this to try to manipulate you people into thinking that he did something wrong, and he didn't. And it's cute, though, because if you go to uh, one of my favorite reporters, because he's, a, he's actually a great reporter and uh, a deep thinker, uh, unlike Mr. Uh, Anthony DeSanto, um, he, he does the uh, political capital. Um, he covers the Connecticut General Assembly in Hartford and stuff like that. Uh, Brian Lockhart. Um, you'll see on one of his things, you know, the McMahon people even made a nice little graph. It's really cute. Um, and they want you to think that he did something wrong. Um, they're trying to make you think that he got some sweetheart deal. Uh, he didn't. He got the, the interest rate that he got was right in line with everybody else, um, with all the other banks at the time. Um, and, and, and McMahon, it's a mixed message. 
It's a mixed message, and that's what she's doing. She's trying to make you people think something that's not necessarily true, which is what Republicans do. It's all smoke and mirrors. But I'm going to go on the basis that he he screwed up. At least he paid his debts. Um, Linda McMahon uh, has never paid her debts. Um, I would be surprised if she even thought that she uh, it would be the morally right thing to do. Um, I've never understood what what the uh, b big deal is uh, about this issue. Um, I think most people uh, have missed a payment uh, on rent or something like that um, or worried about not being able to pay their rent uh, without the ability to declare bankruptcy. Um, I would much rather declare bankruptcy uh, than have lost everything I did in 2003. Um, so, I mean, that's where we are. Um, we have Linda McMahon, who's lying. and But, but let's, let, let, let's, if we're going to take, if, if she wants to make this Chris Murphy issue an issue about character and how he doesn't pay his bills, which she doesn't either, uh, we have to also consider, um, once again, uh, convicted rapists in the Hall of Fame. Uh, using racial epitaphs at the workplace and nothing being done about it. Uh, and and let, let's, let's for one second, since 9-11 was just over a week ago, consider the fact that her daughter, the girl she raised, she's so proud of, uh, on September 13th, 2011, on that episode of SmackDown, Stephanie McMahon, Linda's daughter, revealed... Uh, what a sick and deluded and heartless person she was raised to be when she basically said that the steroid trial, uh, her, her father's steroid trial, which, once again, like we talked in the first video, is a, it, and it's a fact, uh, Linda tried to warn the doctor of the investigation by the Justice Department. What, what Stephanie did was she equated... All right. She said. She said her father's steroid trial is the exact same type of attack that happened uh, when, on the World Trade Centers on 9/11. Uh, there's videos out there. McMahon family, you can try to have them taken down. Do it if you want. I have the audio. Uh, I'll show it to anyone, or I'll play it for anyone that wants to hear it. I don't care. Uh, this is the type of child she's raised. Uh, a child that think it thinks it's okay to equate 9/11 with the, the steroid trial of her father. So, this is the business that they're in. If we're going to judge people on their character, and God knows I, I'm not politically correct, so my character is always questionable. But she, she is a person of no character. Uh, she has no moral compass. 9-11, steroid trial. Oh, they look exactly the same to me. Convicted rapist? Well, let's put him in the Hall of Fame. This is what Linda McMahon is all about. All right, and if you're on it, and 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 her whole, the one issue that she's always talking about is her tax breaks. It's all smoke and mirrors. You will never get a six thousand dollars savings. They did the math. Middle class. She's lying to you. Just just accept the fact. Look it up. And, and the people that did the real math. All right. On the next one, I'll, I'll read the actual math to you. Uh, you, you will never get a $6,000 savings, okay? She will make out like a bandit, her company will make out like a bandit, and you'll get, uh, you won't be able to declare bankruptcy. So, that's where we're at. Um, I, I thank you for watching. Uh, so remember, you know, wh when you think about people's character, uh, think, think about the things that she represents. Uh, on a final note, and, and you know, I, I've debated whether or not to do this uh, because it is it is really a tough tough thing to say. But WWE conveniently, you know, 50 days or so before the election, has been taking once again taking down all the Attitude Era uh, when she was CEO uh, footage. Um, anything that would be offensive. They're saying it's in line with what they want to do with their PG programming. It's more in line with the fact that she's running for office and people are using it, all right? And they see it, and they see for women, women, violence against women, um, uh, necrophilia, 
uh, a host of a, a, a host of things. Uh, Eighty-year-old women giving birth to hands. Uh, her daughter <laughs> comparing 9/11 to her dad's steroid trial. So we, we have all these things, and you know, when when you take down parts of history, uh, that's like burning books. And um, we all know who's famous for burning books, don't we? Until next time, I'm the incorrect political junkie. I uh, thanks for listening.